경영 스키친 안녕하세요. Thank you for watching. Today I'm gonna share a delicious holiday meal called a vegan on chicken roll. You have to watch how Gyeong gonna show you to make a on chicken rolls. So let's go and start. Praise the Lord first for the brand new recipe, and I try once. Didn't come out very good. So I tried second time, it came out perfect. So I am so happy to share this recipe with you. First, you will need and two cups soy curds. Soy curds looks like this. This one is made from 100 non GMO soybean and it has very high in protein. Uh, therefore, we can use for the chicken substitute. I need about one inch size, so you need to go and break it. This is like a dry and hard. Then you will need to put one and a half cup boiling water. So let's have a one and a half. Oh, can you see the steam? It's a hot. Then. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the soy curd. And you are going to let it set at home. Let it set for about five minutes. Then you will be tender to be able to work with. And this is a, such a good protein uh, ingredients and there's no no cholesterol, no central fat, no, uh, nothing is harmful to you. And we don't have five minutes here, so I already soaked them in boiling water. Now, I will show you how tender it is. So, I'm going to go and put it in here, in the mixing bowl. it all out here and actually soy curd doesn't have much flavor it's like a tofu so whatever you uh, season with it will you know, like flavor will change and next one you will need one medium onion cutting small cube you will need a one medium potato, also you can cut it in small cube. You will need a one stock celery and cut it in small cube, make all the same size. Then you will need frozen uh, pea and carrots, there are 12 ounces. And what you need to do, put them all together and steam them for at least 20 to 25 minutes until nice and tender. So, 25 minutes pass. <laughs> and I already steamed a potato, celery, onion, carrots, and sweet peas for you. Already smell is so good. Oh, come on, baby. I missed it. All right, from here, and we are going to put some seasoning. This one is like on chicken filling. And the second part, I'm going to show you how to make a dough and to put the filling. So this is the filling part. You will need a four club garlic meats. Two chicken, I mean, <laughs> no chicken. <laughs> Two tablespoons chicken-like seasoning. You can get a chicken-like seasoning from any uh, health food store, or uh, you can make one at home if you like to make one and go to YouTube, type 
uh, chicken-like seasoning by Kyung Weatherspoon, and I demonstrate for you. Next one, you will need a half tablespoon sweet veggie and half tablespoon sage, one fourth teaspoon sea salt, two tablespoons nutrition yeast black. The last one, you will need two tablespoons whole wheat flour, and you're gonna mix it really good and i forgot to tell you it's like a soy curd you put in one and a half boiling cups to soak them and around five minutes later if you have remaining water you need to drain them sometimes they do sometimes they don't i don't know why so i just forgot to tell you mm, mm, mm. This is delicious, really delicious. And God always inspired me with the delicious, healthy recipes. And from here, I'm just gonna continue mix. And then we're gonna set it aside because I'm gonna show you how to make a dough to bake this one. So I will be back for the dough recipes and I will show you how to do the step by step so don't go away welcome back now I'm going to show you how to make uh, on chicken roll uh, dough part okay so first what you need you will need a one and one fourth cup warm water so yeast it's not going to activate it in the hot water or cold water. It has to be warm water. So you put your finger in and it feels kind of warm. That's that. If it's too hot, you need to add some uh, cold water. Next, you will need a one tablespoon uh, dry yeast. And you will need a one tablespoon sugar. Any sugar. I use turbinate. Then you need to mix it. Mix it well. I had a sugar in it, so I'm going to take some time to mix. Okay. Set it aside. And then next one, uh, you will, I'm going to wear, you know, I'll wear later. You will need a one and a half cups of white flour. and one and a half cups whole wheat flour and one teaspoon salt and uh, mix thoroughly and actually this is a big recipe but it's so worth it and it makes the two big are on chicken dinner bowl so you can feed a lot <laughs> or leftover you can put it in the freezer okay it's already boiling i mean the rays bubbling up usually it takes about a few minutes but i know my yeast is the good yeast so i know it's gonna be working so from here some sanitation glove and you will need a six tablespoons any vegetable oil and put it in and the yeast mixture then from here you need to have a, like a mixing spoon put it in everything put it in here and go ahead and mix it with the spoon first Otherwise, it's going to be all on your hand. Okay, continue mix. This a whole recipe has all the nutrition we need. Complex carbohydrate, which is going to be turned into energy. And it has good protein. 
and it has some uh, good fat from the plant base. You know, God put even like a fat, you can find some fat in the whole wheat flour, a wheat flour. And even soybean has a natural fat. And uh, I'm using all the vegetables. They are full of vitamins, minerals. So it has, this is like a just complete meal. Gonna be for you if you take time to make it. Okay, from here, mix it really good. I'm gonna make the two rolls. So if you can divide it about I will show you. Let me see. Put some whole wheat flour on your countertop. And from here, this eyeball. Yeah. So I'm going to set it outside. And you will knead it for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. So until the dough will be nice and smooth, you no know, work over. Okay? Actually, I will do a little longer, but the uh, cooking show, so I'm going to speed up. And here, you are going to roll out. The size will be about 12 inches wide to 10 inches long. <laughs> Continue rolling. I'm gonna put some more. Yeah, they're sticking. Okay. okay. One more time. And remember I'll show you how to make the filling just best part. Since we're making a two doughs, I mean two rolls, I'm gonna divide the fillings in half portion right there. Divide it in two. Then transfer half portion to here. The sage, yes, I can smell sage. Oh, the smell is so good. Okay. How about that? And just spray out with your hand. Spray out all the way to the edge here in the front. But then you need to leave about two inches in the back here. Now from here, we are going to roll up. It's like a cinnamon roll. How you make a cinnamon roll? Just roll up. Yeah. Ah, oh, this one looks so good. Okay, continue rolling. Like that. And the uh, you don't have to close the end. Then I need a cookie sheet. And put one right here. And when you make the second one, you need to have a, a list of about four inches apart. And then you can put the second one here. But this time I'm gonna only show you how to make all just one. I will just finish the second one later. So, from here, what you need to do, when you finish the second one, put it in the warm place for 30 to 40 minutes to rise. You'll be surprised this is going to be rise about this big. So, uh, best way to do, I turn the oven at 170 degrees. Then when it's heated up, 
turn the oven off. And then put this in the warm oven and uh, put it on about 30 minutes, it will rise. Then you will bake at uh, 350 degrees. That's, that's good temperature. 350 degrees for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes until the uh, top is nice and golden brown and it's ready. So I have finished product. I'll show you. This is actually only half portion. Look at that. Today uh, I started with this side. Look at that, how wide it is. And the uh, inside look like this. Now you can serve as is or you can prepare uh, your favorite gravy on top of it. And it will make a wonderful Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, holiday meal for you. So I'm very excited to show this one with you. If you like to have a close-up finished photo, it will be at the end of the show. And if you like to have written recipe, click the show more below the video. But thank you for watching. It has been a fun to cook with you. I'll uh, see you until next program. May God richly bless you. Mm -hmm.